Hello guys, I'm Fiji with another tutorial and this is on rigid bends. So if so many people requested for this, so I'll make one. Okay, so uh, I didn't make this. It was Dominic who showed me how to do this on his tutorial. Uh, his channel is not so known because he's Russian and he doesn't advertise the channel too much. I mean, he doesn't have any t too much tutorials, so he doesn't have a lot of views. So his channel is kind of small, so I advertise it. And yeah, I'll put the channel link in the description. He has some animation, so I guess I'm just checking out, checking it out. So make a cube, make it three point. No, make it twenty five, three point. Ah, twenty five, thirty seven point five, twenty five. And okay, so this will be the top of the arm. And let's press E, enable this three point one five. Move it up. Here to the grid. Press that. Oh, no. Copy and paste. Plus two. Oh, no. Plus six point two five. Just type it in. Then we get another cube. Did I copy and paste it? Copy and paste, and then plus twelve point five, and that's two pixels. Uh, just move this one up. Okay. Like that, so it should be. I'll be right back. There to be a gap of 12.5 centimeters, which is two pixels, so you should be able to know by just seeing like that. So it says 12.25, so move it down to yeah. So when you click on both of them, yeah, okay. So uh, now make them editable, get the texture we need. I'll go really fast because you'll probably get bored, but I have some tips during like okay, I'll show you how to do some perfect UV mapping. Um press UL, let's get this cube first. Select that, go into this mode, file open, the same texture we used, okay. Shift T oh no, go to non-uniform scale, snapping, enable these two. 3.5 and 3.5. So now everything should snap. It doesn't apply for all textures, by the way. And I forgot to add the material to them, so just go put them onto them. And okay, go back. Shift T, which is the customization command I made for it. So this is 8 pixels, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 8 pixels, okay. So move that there, to the front. If, uh, wait, okay, yes it is. Move that there, move that there, and move that there. And now select the top and the bottom. Shift T, which is my customization command. And then move it to where it didn't belongs. By the way, for fingers, if you have fingers, just make this one just remove two pixels at the bottom or just resize it or something like that. Uh, okay, the top one we don't really need, but we need it. Uh, so let's just randomly move it somewhere. Uh, so I'll texture this one now. I'll be right back. This one is actually six pixels. I guess I should show you how to do this also. So I came back, did the same exact thing to size it and everything. And move it there, 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 there. And select the Oh my gosh. Come on. Yeah. Okay, Shift T. And. Uh, Okay, bottom one we need it like this, and we done the most difficult part I think. Okay, so yeah, we got yeah okay we got it correctly. <laughs> you map now make another one. Oh jeez, and we need to UV map this one also. It's important that we UV map it and make sure it's in the middle of the arm. I don't think it is. Okay, BP we add it again. U L select. We just need the sides really. So let's go back into startup. Oh my gosh. 
textures jhr okay now we need to just position this in the middle okay important we do this otherwise the textures get messed up and stuff at the back of the bool okay make a bool bool put that in there let's name it cover cover arm 2 and arm one and then we just put that in there and put that in there. If that happens, just rearrange it and okay. Uh, so click on the cover, go into F3, function F3 if you have a Mac, and then move it to the middle of the arm. If that that's the middle, that's the middle. Yeah, okay, and now. Uh, now let's make the bones so function f4 or f4 and then go into character join tool since we have this enabled to 3.125 it should snap like so is it in the middle I, I don't know if what I'm doing really okay I think that's in the middle um, Yeah, it is okay. Um, now let's make the IK first. I think I'm doing everything correctly. So it's like the, this and that. No nope. character commands create IK chain. Then click on this and add pole. So this is basically a faster way of doing this. So let's just see, move the pole back. Then we move this up and see if it works. No, it didn't work. Oh, by the way, big, big thing. First, select all the bones before you um, make IKs. Select all the bones and then click on align. It's very important you do this before making the IK. Otherwise, it messes up and stuff. Okay, so now click on IK and then twist it. So now we have it. So the goal will move backwards like that. Okay, so. Oh, battery's running out. Ah, okay, put that in there. Put this in here also. So in the first joint, and then select arm number two, and select that joint. Character commands, bind, and we are done. We have rigid bends. You can do the same. Uh, as you can see, that happens because we need to rescale the cover on the y-axis a little. Okay. Uh, let's make it it's just six okay so as you can see the texture isn't too messed up at the back because I textured the thing uh, but it is slightly messed up a little yeah okay so thanks for watching do the same for the arms the legs whatever and remember fingers need just rescale that uh, thanks for watching um, I'll make a different a lot I mean I couldn't really think of making I couldn't think of any more tutorials that's and people have been requesting it I just made a lot of tutorials and I don't know what to do next so thank you for watching and suggest on more tutorials bye